Hey everybody, it's Polish Pete, and this is part one of a two-part product edition, or we could just call it a line expansion with Big Bite Baits. We're just going through our product survey that we just recently put out for all of our all you customers out there, and uh, Big Bite was probably one of the number one brands, if not the number one brand that was requested a, a big expansion in. A lot of you have favorite baits from Big Bite and they have a whole bunch of cool baits, fish catch and stuff. So we expanded the line dramatically. We, I think we have just about most, if not everything they, they carry now. So I'll go through these baits here, including the new swim bait tote. And then uh, check, check out the next video coming up uh, after this one will be part two where we do even more additions. But we'll start with what I just mentioned, the swimmer tote. So if you're like me, swim baits that come in the clam packages, they can be probably the hardest thing to store in your boat. Because you want a whole bunch of them, different sizes, different colors, and they kind of don't fit in anything. They don't fit in traditional 3700 boxes. You can either just put them in a bulk bag and kind of let them spread out everywhere and they're hard to organize. This is designed and measured so that almost most, of, I put everything from five inch spark shads, their suicide shads from Big Bite, uh, the 4.8 Kytex. You get any much bigger than that, some of them don't fit, but just about 80%, 85% of all the swim baits and clam pack packages fit in these things. So these are going to be something I buy a whole bunch of and I'll just label them for the size of uh, swim baits that are in them. And you can get a whole bunch more in here than it looks. I jammed one of them full earlier. Uh, but the swim bait tote, this is a great solution. If you've all been looking for one like me to how to store your swim baits and keep them organized, check that one out. Next up is the real deal craw. Uh, I wasn't so sure about this one just looking at the pictures. I've never actually held one in hand. Once I took it out of the package, this thing's actually pretty cool. It, it really does have a lifelike uh, appearance to it in hand. Uh, it's got a great texture to it too. Uh, a little bit fatter at the end of the pincher, so I think you're going to get some decent action out of this thing. And if you're really trying to trick a really smart fish into biting something, you want to get as realistic looking as possible with your trailers on your jig or on a Texas rig, uh, check out the Real Deal Craw. Next I have the Coontail Worm. So being where I live up here in Minnesota, we're very familiar with coontail, uh, and this thing kind of looks like a little stock of coontail. Uh, but this thing's going to be a killer uh, worm to be rigged, uh, wacky rigged uh, on a drop shot. This thing could be fished on a net, like a Ned style head. Just we call them a jig worm head here in Minnesota. Just an exposed hook on the head there. A text or a shaky head was I'm sure what it was initially designed for. But uh, you could put a Nico ring on these things, a Nico rig them as well. Anything you do with a worm, you can do with a coontail worm, obviously, but the ring fry has always been a standard go-to up in my neck of the woods, and this is a nice little uh, little bit more realistic shape to it for a more forage mashing shape to it if you want to give something else a shot, give the fish something different to look at. Next, we have the Yo Daddy, and this one is the 3-inch model. So these things got a lot of kick to them. I really do kind of like the, the texture of the bait. It's not super stiff, but it's not uh, really, really super soft either. I have a feeling this thing would be really durable uh, for an easy trailer to rig on a jig. Uh, the tail or the cl claws are pretty unique. They're just flat on the very ends of them. So uh, I have imagined their paddling kicking is probably pretty extreme. So I wouldn't doubt it's a great swim jig trailer, an S jig trailer, a little grass jig trailer. Anytime you're trying to get that reaction out of a flapping craw uh, trailer. To go with more trailers and craw baits, we have the College Craw. This one was specifically requested by a buddy of ours out there that kept saying, the College Craw is the deal on the Stealth Fighter. The College Craw is the deal on the Stealth Fighter. So I'm going to try them out on a Stealth Fighter and see how they do. So apparently these things are the deal on small jigs, whether it's a grass jig or a, or a ball-headed finesse jig, anything around docks or swimming it. Uh, on a little swim jig or something like that. This thing uh, looks really cool. It's a, it's a really, it's shaped really great to be a jig trailer. Or if you wanted to try it on a, on a small little uh, T rig and punch with it or something like that, I'm sure it would get you some bites. We now have the Dean Rojas Fighting Frog. So this one's got a bunch of appendages to make it look like a frog kind of coming through the water. It's got a split belly and like a beaver style body for putting a Texas rig on. And then it's got a bunch of kicking appendages. So I'm sure that the rigging options of this are endless, just like the other baits I was talking about. Pretty versatile stuff that this is set so far. I'd imagine this thing on a Texas rig is killer. Also punching and flipping, this thing would be a great 
uh, bait to get uh, get you a bigger bite out of some weary fish there. Next up would be another major ask on our uh, on our product survey for our customers was the Smalley Smasher. So this thing is a drop shot bait, very similar to a lot of the drop shot baits out there on the market right now, but it does have a ribbed profile on the top, flat bottom. So if you nose hook this thing with that spade tail there, it's gonna give a lot of action to it. Cool colors in these, I checked these out. Don't sleep on that bright chartreuse, you know, a bunch of those Northern guys have been telling you that for a while. Uh, small mouth don't get super picky sometimes. They'll chase this thing down from a ways away. So. Uh, this one's been a hot topic for a while. I know a lot of, even the guys that worked here kept asking me, why don't we have a Smalley Smasher? So go smash some Smalleys. And last and certainly not least, because this one, I just saw a review on this one the other day stating that this is one of the best chatterbait trailers in the market. And you know, right now we can't keep enough chatterbait trailers in stock in this place. No matter what the brand, people have their favorites and they buy them up like crazy. I'm super jacked at all this stuff I showed here today uh, to try this one the most but this is the kamikaze swim on so you rig it straight up and down so it has that realistic more realistic bait fish profile this color right here is obviously something that would uh, would go pretty fast I imagine this will be the best seller of the bunch right out of the gate because it's still spring uh, and that fire craw colored uh, Bladed jig is get, getting still tons and tons of attention, and that's the perfect match for it right there. So um, the Kamikaze Swim On has holes in the tail here to create like a little bit of a bubble trail behind it as well. That rib body that I have a lot of confidence in. I don't know what it is about it, the way it moves through water, or what it does for the baits, uh, but it seems to me I have a lot of confidence in baits that have that rib texture to them, and it's got that segmented body for a better swimming action behind a behind a bladed jig. So if you're looking for some more action and something different that maybe everybody else isn't throwing on their bladed jigs yet, jump on these now because I have a feeling everybody will be throwing a bunch of these soon. So in the meantime, all this stuff is already on the site. You can buy them right now. Uh, as always, if you see something that you want on there that's out of stock already, click that notify me and it lets us know that we got to get them on the way. People are waiting on them and as soon as they show up, you, you get the uh, email notification right away. And uh, go catch them.